friends. Mm. Oh, it's everywhere. She talking about she just woke up. So I'm going to use this Clarify Vitamin A and Witch Hazel Facial Mist after I just cleaned it with the Yes 2 Cotton Protects and Minimizes Irritation, which is great for me. Ultra sensitive and allergy prone skin. It's mine. Oh, I really like this thing. And we're going to do eyebrows first. Whatever, so we're just going to do our eyebrows real quick. Oops. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to comb them with this Kush Brow Gel. Okay. So we brush them with that Brow Gel. And we're going to now fill them in casually. We're just going to follow their natural Okay, now that they're filled in, we're going to clean up the edges and minimize. I recently went to Ulta. I don't know if I've told you that. I don't think I've had a chance to tell you that. Oh, so I recently went to Ulta and got some things, mostly skincare stuff, but and then stuff not for me. But when I went there to get a foundation, but they didn't have my color, like it was out of stock. And uh, so I ended up actually going to Macy's and getting it, and you'll see that later. But the thing I did get at Ulta that was makeup, besides these two mascaras, which you were going to see in a minute, <clears throat> was this. The Makeup Revolution Concealer again, because I really, really missed it. I like it so much. And so we're going to do our eyebrows now. Give me a second. I'll be right with you. Okay. Oh, this eyebrow came out a little better than that one. As usual. Okay, that'll do. We're not gonna play this game where we dance around with our eyebrows for three hours. We just, I won't, I won't. You can't make me. I really need to set my eyebrows with the powder that I set them with is upstairs. So, we'll use this mattifying powder and our finger put a little under our eyes I have to get my sponge <laughs> and just on the cheek so now I'm going to set it actually with this mattifying up all night spray by Coop and Daisy. This one kind of smells like lavender or something. This smells really pretty. Okay, moving on. So now eyebrows done. Concealer done. Now we're going to go to the thing that I couldn't find at Altus because it was out of stock. And uh, I went to Macy's instead, and I went to the counter for the first time ever to get a makeup thing, and it wasn't MAC. Um, it was a Stay Lauder. You saw that double wear. You'll see this in a video coming up, or maybe I'll put that video up before I put this one up. Who knows? I'm doing 7 and 1. I'm just going to take a little, put it on the back of my hand, take my trusty dusty brush here, and get started. I'm actually going to use this tiny mirror. Like putting mirror, I'm mean putting makeup on inside the viewfinder gets a little complicated. <laughs> so when I had this on last time, I noticed like how lightweight it was. But not only lightweight, it was it really didn't transfer as much. So that's why I'm wearing it, especially today, because I'm wearing a white shirt. It also seemed to be oil controlling, so that was nice.
So, I know it looks like fire right now, but it'll settle down. Just going to pat it. And I don't know why, but when I get new things, I keep the box for a little while. Eventually the box will get thrown out, but not now. I like to keep it. So now we're going to do... Dubious Place. Coral. There's a brown in here that I really want to use. Of my theme, I'm going to have a red lip, so... I just want to do kind of a, a nudish eye, a nudish sparkling eye. So I'm going to use this one and, oops, and uh, that one. Okay. Mm. Oh, no. Okay. So then we're just gonna add a bit of that one that I showed you earlier. And I'm just oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna take some and just pat it right there. Because we're chilling. Today's concept is really uh it's blooming days. But you ever seen a rose? A rose is the most casual flower that we regard as beautiful. And maybe because it's a weed, I don't know. But it's very casual and very beautiful. So that's what we're doing with our makeup. Very soft, very casual, but striking in some way. So we just put a little bit of that in the center and then we're just going to spread it like that. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah. Throw a little bit under here. Boop, boop, boop. Right at the corner. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> hmm. I really like that. All right. Now I'll put that away. Hmm. Hmm. Now we will do eyeliner. And mascara. We're using Pat McGrath. So we're actually not going to line the bottom today. We're only going to line the inner top and the mm, a little bit of the top line itself. How often do you meet your friends? I've known these friends. They're my best friends. I've known them for 20 years. 20, 21 years. <gasps> And so, we actually don't see each other often at all, because, I guess, life, and then one of us lives in a whole different state. Usually, we get together when she comes to town, because, I don't know, it's always been like that. She's the organizer. It's always been like that. When we were kids, even, she would do all the organizing for us to, like, go to the movies or whatever. I didn't do much organizing. People just showed up at my house. <laughs> Mm, I'm gonna get better at that and she like has been telling me to come out where she lives but I haven't had any chance to do so but I will because fun fact is the city she lives in now was the city I wanted to move to when we were younger like I was like I just I was like I just I gotta move there I got to go I've got to get to that place and then for some reason it just was like meh Never mind, she ended up being there, and she loves it. But I feel like if I go there, I'm going to fall in love with it all over again. There we go. Top line. Woohoo! Mmm. This one needs to be done a little better. That, that's what I want right there. That's nice. No, no uh, bottom line. 
just top. Excuse me, one second. I'm just gonna take this angle brush I have in here and really get that corner. It's kind of bothering me. <laughs> there. Ooh, that's better. Okay, so now we have to decide between uh, deep cocoa and black, is, or very black. Oh, I have the... Is deep cocoa and black is black? Oh, they're right here on the, on the... Oh, this one doesn't have it. This one has deep cocoa and this one... They're both total temptation. And I think I'll do deep cocoa another time. We'll go with very black. There it is. Look at that. Total temptation. No mascara. Total temptation. No mascara. <laughs> Let's see if the left hand can do what the right hand can does. Oh, I made a budget plan for myself now that I started a new job. I made a budget plan for myself that suits my new budget. And I'm really happy about it. I feel um, empowered. It's been a budget plan that I've been thinking about doing for a really long time. But... I never actually implemented and so tomorrow's the national holiday here um, Memorial Day and so I'm gonna use that day to pretty much set it all up so I'm really excited and I'm actually really happy <coughs> I took myself in the eyeball I don't know if my eyelashes on my left eye are just longer and fuller or if the left hand is better at putting on mascara. But there's just there's so much more of them. I might be gonna wonder I forgot who we are. Okay. Now, now that that's done. Mmm. Oh, right. I wanted to wear an old favorite. Which is this blush. Um, the Toasted Almond by Black Radiance. I'll just put on, like, a little bit. Like, the littlest. Like, the littlest bit. Okay. So you see how matte my face got? So soft and matte. You'll see it in regular daylight too. Alright, blush done. Um... So the plan was to wear a red lip, and that's what I'm going to do. I didn't put any chapstick on. That's going to be a problem. Let me just see if I have anything that can act like chapstick. Actually, they don't. Okay, well, so we're just going to balls out this thing. I'm going to go in here with chestnut, which I usually don't actually do, but I want it to be a little browner, so... Okay, so it's devoted to chili powder kiss. You know, they have a de Mac has a devoted to chili um, regular, I think, matte or maybe a cream one. I don't remember, but they have another one. This is their powder kiss version. And I also bought this at Macy's at the matte counter, which is a counter I usually frequent, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think Mac still have one of my favorite lipsticks. Like the way they make lipstick, the colors they have. They're like a great place to start and a great place to stay. <laughs> so Powder Kiss is different because it's like the way it goes on, it literally feels like whipped air. And I feel like it has a softer, more blurred effect and coverage. It's not super cover, it's just like lip color tint. Which I really like. I think it's like so soft. Like. Mm. So. That's that. Mm. Done. 
I think I put on a little too much blush. <laughs> so we're just gonna mute it out a bit. I forgot to put some on my nose. I'll put it under this time. Like under here. Oops. Red I don't usually carry on my nose unless it's winter. They look like that kind of cold kind of thing. I wonder if anyone else is going to wear makeup. One of them, she doesn't really wear makeup, but that could have changed. She doesn't wear makeup sometimes, but she doesn't even wear makeup to like meet us and stuff. I might be the only one wearing makeup. But it's okay, because I really wanted to. Okay. See you in a minute. See that? It's like a natural glow from within that's happening with the double wear. Also, that's what I was talking about. I was wearing white, so I wanted to wear something with minimal smudging. That is old makeup. That smudged from someone else. I didn't put on any bottom water line, which is new for me. We actually went to the mall looking for some eyeliner that I could put down there but anyway so here's the double wear <laughs> I'm gonna wear this a little longer it's 82 degrees outside I should mention and this is still on it's I left my phone I think it's four o'clock and I've had this on since 10 I've been outside since 11 give and take you know going in the mall and stuff Oh, double wear. How I slept on you.